Okay, so now we're doing the muscles of the eye. I'll start off, so in summary, there are the four rectuses, the dorsal, ventral, medial, and lateral, and they are found basically at the position that their name indicates. So on your top here, you have your dorsal rectus, and all the rectuses have this kind of same shape. They are kind of wide, strap, yeah, fat little things. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is your dorsal rectus. Uh, laterally, right here, you find your lateral rectus. And go under. This is your ventral rectus. And here you have your medial rectus. And then you have your two obliques, dorsal and ventral oblique. This thin muscle right here, this is the dorsal oblique. And, um, well, it's not attached anymore, but normally it would hook around the trochlea and, like, pull the eye. Not quite so extreme in a living dog, but... Anyway, um, so down here, there's a strap of muscle that goes across. Kind of, so if you see the position of the eye, it's going this way, whereas everything else goes caudally. So this muscle here is the ventral oblique. And then contained within these bundle of muscles, um, if we go in there, you will find both the optic nerve and the retractor, the retractor bulby. So that's it for the muscles of the eye. We'll move on to the salivary glands. We'll start off with this one. This is the mandibular. Kind of underneath, squished next to it, is the sublingual. Like there somewhere. This here is the parotid. And this here is the zygomatic. And that's it for the salivary glands. We'll flip over to the mid-sagittal view. Uh, start with the pharynxes, of which there are three that we are concerned about. Your nasopharynx here, which contains an auditory tube right there. Your oropharynx, so it goes up to basically the back of the tongue. And this area right here, you see that there's kind of a a line there, that's where the oropharynx stops and the laryngopharynx starts. Um, going back to the oropharynx, you have here the palatinoglossal arch. Part. Yeah, it's like about here at the back of the tongue that goes up sideways, like right here. And speaking of palato things, you have your <laughs> soft palate and your hard palate. Your hard palate would be the part of the palate, like the roof of the mouth, that goes, that uh, I guess runs with the palatine bone, which you saw in the skull. It's like here, so it's actually hard, hard palate. And the soft, wiggly part uh, here. That would be your soft palate. Okay. And and moving on to the yes. Infundibulum. There's something what do you called infundibulum around there. Frenulum. That's the tongue. Yes. Uh, moving on to the tongue. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm Here. Sorry. <laughs> it's like infundibulum. Okay. <laughs> the tongue. This kind of uh, layer here. This is the frenulum. And as you'll remember, this is the genioglossus. So right above it, frenulum. And then you have the tongue itself, the glossus, which has five types of uh, taste buds, if you will. The first we will say is, you see that? The little white dot, that is a fungiform papilla. And all around it, the stuff here, that is the filiform papilla. Those are uh, this one right here, big round, is the valley. 
back here are the conical and at the side are the foliate. And as to what they taste, uh, the foliate are the ones that sense bitter tastes, the valley sweet, and the fungiform salty. Moving up in the mouth, here the first ridge you will see like if you see all these ridges here the first one is the indicator for where your vomeral nasal organ is um, moving along here in the nasal passage a certain section of it is called the cone cone and above it behind the septum you'll find the conche which are the thin crunchy bones and 